So you may have just gone through and actually spilled water on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Now, I will tell you, you're in really good hands because a majority of Samsung Galaxy phones are already waterproof, but the very first thing I'd recommend doing without wasting your time, and I'll you know kind of filibuster in a second, is to go through and turn off your Samsung phone. So I've already went through and turned off of both of these Samsung phones, but what I would recommend doing is finding the power button, finding the side button, finding whatever on your Samsung Galaxy phone, and completely powering that phone off. If you're in a pinch, hold down this power button right here and power it off. If your buttons don't seem to be working, just continue to hold down that power button until your phone completely shuts off. The reason why you want your phone to be completely shut off for the duration of this process is because you don't want some components inside of your phone to get water inside of it and basically fry up. These phones are waterproof, they're water resistant, nothing is pretty much going to happen. You can submerge this thing up to like 30 meters of water or 30 feet or something crazy like that, and you're not going to run into any problems really for the most part. But you don't want to take that chance, especially if you have cracks inside of your phone, if you have cracks inside of your display, if you have cracks on the bezels, that can cause lots of issues for your phone too if water starts to seep in. So just go through, power down your phone, and that is one of the easiest ways to go and fix this problem. Now, after your phone is shut off, what you want to do is you want to grab some sort of vacuum or some shop vac or something like that, and you want to try just cleaning up and getting all the water on your device out as you know fast as possible from your phone. You can go inside of the charging port right here and put the hose nozzle next to it and then basically vacuum out the water that way. That's another big thing I'd recommend doing. And remember, your phone is still off while you're doing this. Now, on top of that, another thing you want to do is you just want to go ahead and leave your phone in a humid environment. So like just like, you know, room temperature, or maybe a little bit hotter. And you want your phone to just kind of let the water soak out of it. Let the water just go and basically just, you know, kind of evaporate out of this particular phone. So you can go through and you can, you know, leave it in like kind of like a sunnier area. You don't want it beaming with, you know, heat. You don't want the water to be all on it. But what you could do is just let it sit there, you know, let the water kind of like just, you know, get out of the phone naturally that way. And that's another thing I recommend doing too. Now, after it's been at least like a couple of hours, you know, for the phones to kind of sit there and let the water kind of dry out, what I would recommend doing then is to go through and basically just try to see if you can, you know, basically charge, you know, power on your phone. So go through, power on your phone, and you want to see if it powers on. For a lot of people, it's probably going to power on and it's going to look fine, and you probably don't have much to worry about. But I would say kind of for the next few days, if you have the option of doing so, I probably would go through and basically just like wirelessly charge your phone. I still kind of feel bad sometimes if I plug it in after I just sunk it into water. I don't want the charger to get messed up either. So I'd recommend just probably wirelessly charging it for a little bit and then going through and using that phone after. So that's exactly what I would recommend doing as soon as you go through. And basically, you know, spill water on your you know, your Samsung phone. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.